Dear parents and students, welcome to the Test Prep Card channel once again. As you've already know about uh, the topic of this video, we are going to talk about uh, the application procedure for the engineering entrance examination. Now, uh, as you know that this topic is basically an overview for you to understand how would you go about applying for an Indian, Indian uh, engineering entrance examination. I am going to take this uh, from uh, both of the points, both from the Indian perspective and from the NRI's perspective. See, <laughs> largely and of course, uh, I will give all the details in the description because it might not be possible to cover up the entire procedure over here, but you will understand what I'm trying to say. So being an Indian student or the NRI student, see, primarily 80% of the time, what you will be applying for is maybe for the national engineering entrance examination, state engineering entrance examination or the private in, in, uh, Indian engineering entrance examination. 80% of you would definitely be wanted to uh, know about uh, the JE application process because at the national level, you have to go through JE main application and JE advanced application. At a state level engineering entrance examination, if you have thought about that, then you would like to know about uh, the state level engineering entrance examination application procedure such as uh, KEM, WBJE, GUGCET, uh, PNCA uh, and there are 16 other state level engineering entrance examination and for private universities. So application procedure in itself is not a very uh, tricky thing to do. Okay, All you need is just the URL or the website on which you need to submit the application. Sometimes this gets tricky uh, when you try to submit the application for uh, JE, okay, because there you also need to upload many of uh, the documents and there's a size constraint, a fi uh, a file size constraint, dimension constraint, background constraint. So uh, that's get uh, tricky at point at some point of time. So in itself as the uh, application procedure is concerned for JE main, we have already made a detailed video on that. I will give the link in the description. Just go about it. It's a, uh, I think it's a single uh, video with four uh, subsection of it, which will take you through the uh, creating an account on the JE website, uh, filling in the application form. Third is uh, uh, paying the fee and fourth is downloading your uh, application uh, letter. Okay. So that's a four phase video. We have already done that. Now, same is the case with the private, uh, with the state engineering examination. You can simply, I will give the links uh, for all the engineering entrance examination in the link. Okay, just go go through it, and you will not find any much any uh, difficulty. The only reason, uh, the one thing, yeah, one thing which I just missed is about the NRI students. Okay. NRI students, when you apply for the engineering entrance examination, you have to apply an extra effort in terms of, for example, as you already know, and those who do not know, uh, those the students who are in grade 9, 10th, 11th, if you do not know, you have in, in case if you are coming to India for engineering entrance examination, being into the DASA and the CAWG category, you have to apply for JE main examination. And at the same point of, point of time, you have to apply for the JE, uh, sorry, uh, DASA and the uh, CIWG application also. Okay, so for you guys, NRIs, JE main plus DASA application. For Indians, it's just JE main. If you do not know about DASA, about CIWG, about JE main requirement of, of you to take to come into India for the CFTIs, then that means there's a lack of information and you need to know a lot about it for that i've already given uh, see there is a book called dasa cawg ebook we have specifically prepared the uh, this book for the nri students and the parents just download this big, uh, book from the link in the description and you will be able to understand everything about it coming back to the topic the application procedure okay first of all you need to apply to the uh, uh, apply through the website the moment you apply through the website, you pay the fee online, you will get a acknowledgement receipt and the application receipt in and you need to take a printout of that. Okay, you will have your application number mentioned over there. Once you have the application number mentioned over there, then later on before the examination, your uh, center card comes up. Okay, you need to download your center card. You can download your center card by simply mentioning your acknowledgement receipt number over there and then you'll be able to download your admit card. Okay. Once you have the admit card, once you have given the examination, you need to wait for the result. Okay. 
the moment your result is out you need to go again uh, to the website enter your roll number you will be able to see your result based on your rank and your scores then you need to apply for the counseling counseling procedure okay in that counseling what they will tell you they will tell you that from rank 1 to rank 100 or maybe from rank to 500 should come in the first round of counseling uh, from rank 600 to rank uh, uh, 2000 should come in the second round of counseling from rank 2001 to uh, 8000 uh, should come in the third round of counseling so these are the hypothetical figure which i am just trying to which i am just using in order to make you understand how the admission procedure for a, for any of the uh, uh, indian uh, engineering examination goes on so this is the process you apply you prepare you give the examination you get the result you apply for the counseling and in counseling finally you get your college your desired college and then if for some reason you could not get uh, the desired college or the desired stream then there is an option for upgradation but that is only possible when somebody someone else gave up their uh, college or uh, uh, the seat uh, just in case if they get updated into other college you can probably get their seats okay otherwise that is not possible so in a nutshell the application procedure is that simple if you wish to know about the je application procedure i have given the link if you wish to know about the dasa application procedure i have given the link for the ebook so you can download that both of them there now you must be having couple of queries in the mind which definitely should be there so just uh, prepare an email with the list of points that you have in your mind send it us to us on the uh, email id info at the rate testpripcard.com must be flashing on the screen right now and do not forget to mention your number also because then we try to call you up and then we give you the answer our counselor will tell you each and everything on the phone call because then we need to understand who you are from where you are what is your point of view why are you trying to do that only based on that we try to answer all of these things so i hope this video is of some relevance to you if it is then do subscribe to the channel and uh, thank you